telephone conversation between President Johnson and Abe Fortas in the late afternoon of November 29, 1963, time unknown. President, yeah. that ended good, and I rewrote it. I told him I was going to. That's good. Okay, go ahead. All right. You ready? Yeah. You got anything else to say to me? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Wait a minute. Where are you letting Mr. Boggs made his announcement. Yeah. The uh, car called me, the Attorney General of Texas. Yeah. And uh, he was going on and on, and I uh, uh, thought he ought to be told about the, uh, the plan for the commission, and that's one of the secrets, see? Yeah. Because Boggs had already said it. Yeah. And he was very appreciative and said that's a wonderful idea and all to the good. So I think uh, he uh, got that in the way. <laughs> okay. He you, wanted to cover that thing. You think I ought to tell him, talk to him before it's over? I, I imagine so. I can do it. Don't you bother with him. I'm right. talking to that guy every day, every hour, practically every hour. But if somebody better call him because he'll think I've broken faith with him. I called him and already told him I'll call him again. You tell him as soon as it's done. Put that first on your list as soon as I get some clearance. Okay, tell her, you are Marie? Yes, sir. Go ahead. The president today announced that he was appointing a special commission, capital S, capital C, to study and report upon all facts and circumstances relating to the assassination of the late President John F. Kennedy mm -hmm. and the subsequent murder of the man charged with the assassination. Mm -hmm. Paragraph, the president stated that the majority and minority leaders of the Senate mm -hmm. and the House of Representatives have been consulted with respect to the proposed special commission. Mm -hmm. Murray, you have to make a note there for me on the side, will you? Mm-hmm. Uh, this, I do not know the facts. Now, this is your note. Yeah. Within, you know, relating to this paragraph, mm -hmm. this case, I do not know the facts, and this has to be conformed. Right? Conformed. Right. Now, we continue, right? All right. Paragraph, the members of the special commission are colon. And need space because I don't know who they are. All right. In paragraph, the president stated that the special commission would be instructed to evaluate all, ev all available information mm -hmm. concerning the subject of the inquiry. Mm -hmm. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, mm -hmm. pursuant to an earlier directive of the president, mm -hmm. is making a complete investigation of the facts, period. An inquiry mm -hmm. is also scheduled mm -hmm. by a Texas court of inquiry, that's capital C and I. Thank you. Convened, well, you're welcome, Jim. <laughs> convened by the attorney general of Texas. Uh, under Texas law. Mm -hmm. uh, paragraph, the special commission. The special commission. Will have before it mm -hmm. uh, all evidence uncovered by the FBI and all information available to any agency of the federal government. Mm -hmm. The Attorney General of Texas has also offered his mm -hmm. cooperation. Mm -hmm. okay. All federal agencies and offices mm -hmm. are being directed to furnish services and cooperation with the Special Commission. Okay. The Commission will also be empowered to conduct any further investigation that it deems desirable. The president stated that uh, the investigation is now underway by the FBI and others, mm -hmm. together with the report of the special commission, will 
make certain that all aspects of the assassination and murder are known mm -hmm. and that the public is fully informed. Mm -hmm. Fully informed. All right, sir.